Hey, you know what these remind me of? Please. Th- these shoes right here. You know what these shoes remind me I'm of? I'm telling you. Do you know what these remind me of? I think I'm going to say it. Don't. They remind me of Kobe! What's up guys, welcome back to the official Wear Testers YouTube channel. My name is Jackson and today we have a performance review on the Nike Sabrina 1. This is the debut signature shoe for Sabrina Ionescu of the New York Liberty. And it's pretty popular right now, due in no small part to its resemblance to the Kobe line. Sabrina has worn Kobe's and GT cuts in the past and this very much follows in the vein of the Kobe line. Uh, maybe not as much the GT cuts just because they don't have that much cushioning and if you enjoy playing in the Kobe line I certainly do then I think you're going to enjoy playing in the Sabrina one This is definitely a shoot for guards if you like something light and low and quick these are right up your alley Let's get into it The Sabrina one utilizes a modified herringbone multi-directional traction pattern my pair has all solid rubber there are a lot of pairs out there that have predominantly translucent rubber. Obviously, you can do these on Nike by you and get them however you want, but I'm basing my opinion off of a pair that has solid rubber. And these had me covered in every direction, and only when I was on a really, really nasty court did I start to have some issues. Come here, buddy. Come here. Say hi. Hey buddy. The traction pattern is a little tight in certain spots, uh, specifically right under the ball of your foot. So that is an area that does pick up a good amount of dust. So when you're on a not so ideal court, you're gonna have to be wiping your outsoles, transferring all that nastiness from the shoe to your hands. Yeah. That's just what happens, man. Surprisingly enough, the outsole rubber used here is pretty durable. Uh, so you'd be able to take these outdoors if you're an outdoor hooper. Excellent. And not only are you gonna get some pretty solid traction, but you're gonna get better than average durability. Traction isn't top tier, but it's very, very solid. Nike gave us a full length react midsole along with a standard four foot zoom air unit here. It's not plush. It's low to the ground, it's responsive. If you're more of a grounded type of player, you're not a high flyer, it feels great. So the impact protection here, while it is not abundant, it's going to be solid. The court feel is awesome. You're super low to the ground here, and if that's something you like, it's certainly something that I like, then you're going to enjoy the cushion setup here. The zoom unit is just a regular standard zoom unit. It's better than the little rectangular units that you get in something like the Jaw 1 or the KD3 if you picked up the retro of these. But it's not Zoom Turbo and it's not Zoom Strobel. If you're expecting something super bouncy and out of this world, you're not gonna get it. You get a nice, responsive, subtle bounce. It's just that classic Zoom Air feeling and I really like it. You know what I don't like? The insole. These things suck. <laughs> I uh, immediately swapped out the insoles for my move game days. It's a no brainer for me. Added a little bit of arch support. It's a little bit sturdier. It's gonna last a lot longer, that's for sure. But the stock insole is terrible. If you don't care, more power to you. Just letting you know. The material setup is pretty simple. It's a combination of textiles, something a little more tight up front, and then in the midfoot, it's very thin and wide open, plenty of breathability coming through the midfoot area. And you have some TPU reinforcement here actually around the eye stay area. I mean, it's a very simple but effective material setup. The break-in period for the upper is pretty short. It's nice and flexible. So there's nothing to complain about and there's nothing to really write home about here. It's solid and the materials do the job. If you like a tight fit, then you're gonna like these. I went with my true size, and that is what I would recommend for pretty much everybody, unless you have a wide foot, because these do fit really tight. My feet are slightly narrow, and even then, if I tied my shoes too tight, uh, I would feel a little bit of pinching, but I didn't need to tie my shoes that tight because the fit was that awesome. I personally felt the fit was just a little bit long, but that was not a problem at all, because heel to toe, width wise, man, you're, you're locked in. Your foot is not going anywhere side to side, and your heel, is really, really locked in. This collar padding back here just sucks your heel in. And it's not moving side to side, front to back. 
nothing. There's a little TPU sidewall on the lateral side four foot area, much like on the GT Cut 1. That does a great job of helping with the stability side to side in the forefoot. And then on the lateral side, some of that midsole foam kind of comes up in the midfoot area and really helps cup your foot. And then in the heel, again, you've got this foam kind of coming up with this weird little swoosh. And then you've got a really sturdy heel counter. Traditional lacing setup, some like little fly wire looking lacing cables. Look, man, the fit is like kind of suffocating. If you're a wide footer, the fit will be tricky. Uh, so if you can go into a store and try them on, that'd be the best thing to determine whether or not the fit is gonna work for you. For everybody else, go true size and you're gonna love it. So this is definitely a guard shoe. Support is a little bit on the minimal side. It starts and ends with the fit. Uh, you've also got a nice flat base. The cushion, like I said, is very stable. Solid heel counter, a lot of padding in the heel. Lockdown is pretty close to perfect, so I don't really have much to complain about support-wise. If I'm gonna be nitpicky, uh, the midfoot area, there is a midfoot shank in there. It's pretty short, you know, kind of just right here. And the shoe is rather flexible. You know, I can really bend this thing. My solution for that, of course, is just the game day insole. So it adds just a touch of rigidity there in that midfoot area plenty for me. In fact, even if I went with an insole that didn't have anything extra in there, I would have been fine. But if you're someone who prefers a setup that is more stiff, more rigid through the midfoot, then I would recommend doing an insole swap. You know, maybe even a game day pro with like, with that really solid TPU. So yeah, that's my only kind of nitpick with the support. But yeah, I think for most people, I mean, surely if you enjoyed playing in like the Kobe line, specifically like that Kobe 11, again, because of that fit, because of that stability, for the vast majority of players, it's gonna be a non-issue. The Sabrina 1 is a standout shoe. If you're a guard, if you like something light and low and quick, uh, th these are gonna be one of the best shoes out on the market for you. They definitely have a little more hype than the average debut signature shoe uh, because they do resemble the Kobe models. I mean, they just do. And right now, that's what everybody wants. So while Nike might not ever give us enough Kobe's to go around, although Kobe's were never selling out, before. So yeah, it is what it is, and if you're looking for a Kobe alternative, this is gonna be a good option for you. But it's just a good shoe. The Kobe line is so beloved because they were just really good performance models. And so this kind of ends up feeling like somewhere in between maybe the main signature Kobe line and like a Kobe budget model. It's somewhere in the middle. I certainly love them. They're right up my alley. I'll try to continue playing in them even while I'm testing other shoes. But yeah, if you've played in the Sabrina 1, go ahead and drop a comment let me know what you think. I feel like it's a pretty straightforward, no frills type of shoe. Yeah, there's nothing premium about it, but it's really reliable and really solid. Go do all that stuff. That'll make this video uh, pop up in the algorithm a little bit more. And with that being said, that's all I've got for this performance review. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.